What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video we are Des Moines International Airport for the 37th airport update for the month of December 2023. It's the last Des Moines Airport update for the year, and in it we'll be debuting a brand new segment which will be introduced at the end of the video. Starting off at Gate Alpha 3B, we have the Southwest 737-700. Coming in from St. Louis is flight 2271 at 1029 p.m. had to be scheduled 1045 p.m. arrival. It's probably a good thing that we started at gate Alpha 3 instead of Alpha 1 like I usually have in the past um, as we'll get through this segment a little quicker here. So we'll take a look at gate Alpha 2 with this United Airbus A319 that came in from Denver as flight 2265 at 556 p.m. delay from a 408 p.m. scheduled arrival so a delay just under two hours for this flight. And all the flights in this airport update except for one are from Wednesday, December 6th. Moving on over to Gate Alpha 4, we have this United Express CRJ 700 coming in from Chicago O'Hare as flight 5363 operated by SkyWest at 10.32 a.m. had to be scheduled 10.49 a.m. arrival. And it's nice that I do have the CRJ 550 as indicated by the registration. Hopefully Gemini does another release of one of these with the SkyWest registrations just for those that missed out on this initial GoJet 550 release. And that is everything we have here at Concourse A. Pretty barren over here, but Concourse C is very much loaded, so let's take a look. At gate Charlie 2, we have the Delta Connection CRJ 900 coming in from New York LaGuardia as flight 4854 operated by Endeavor Air at 7.28 p.m. had to be scheduled 7.30 p.m. arrival. Parked directly next to the Delta CRJ 9, we have this American E319 that came in from Phoenix as flight 568. This arrived in at 11.31 p.m. had to be scheduled 11.59 p.m. arrival, the last arrival of the night. Parked at gate Charlie 6B, I have this American Eagle Ember 170 in the retro livery, which I'm substituting for a regular livery 170 since I don't have that, as this flight is actually a diversion. So, pretty interesting as to where this aircraft was going to. Um, it came in from Chicago O'Hare as flight 4420, operated by Republic Airways, and this aircraft was intended for Sioux Falls, funnily enough. And this flight operated on Sunday, December 3rd. The reason for this diversion was fog. We had some low visibility in the area at the time of this flight, so they sent the aircraft to Des Moines. And they tried to get it into Sioux Falls again later that night, but they ended up sending the aircraft back to Chicago as a result. So, I'm not sure what happened afterward with the passengers on board this flight. Hopefully they did get rebooked onto the flight the next day on the 4th uh, so that they could get to Sioux Falls on time. So that's why it's sitting here with no jet bridge attached. Next to that, at gate Charlie 6A, we had this American Airbus E319, which Sharklets, coming in from Charlotte as flight 2962 at 11.36 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 11.53 a.m. arrival. At gate Charlie 7, we had this American Eagle Embraer 175 coming in from Miami today as flight 3558. This is an Envoy operated flight. Coming in at 11.30 p.m. had to be scheduled 11.57 p.m. arrival, so just one minute behind the A319 uh, fence tips that came in from Phoenix. Here's our singular Allegiant flight in this update, which is parked all the way over at Gate Charlie 5 this time. This aircraft came in from Sarasota, Florida, as flight 468, arriving at 4.36 p.m. had to be scheduled 5.01 p.m. arrival. So this flight is going to operate twice weekly throughout the winter, and then in March it's going to get up to four daily flights, and I just noticed on Saturday, March 16th, that it's going to have two flights. There will be a 9.14 arrival, and then another arrival in the evening or so at about 5.48 p.m. local time, so kind of interesting that we have those two flights on that Saturday. And it looks like that the service will be discontinued by the middle of March, so right around that time where you see the double daily flights on that Saturday in March, which was the 16th, looks like it's going to end there. So a bit unfortunate that they're going to lose that service, but I imagine this will be pretty popular during the winter for those that want to get away from the cold winters in Iowa. And finally, to round things off in this airport update, we have this Delta 717 parked all the way over at Gate Charlie 1. This came in from Atlanta as flight 2733 at 11.18 a.m., a bit behind 11.15 a.m. scheduled arrival, so a three-minute delay for this aircraft. And that'll do it for Des Moines, our 37th airport update and the last one to round out the year. And what better way to round out the year with a brand new segment in our Des Moines airport updates, the new terminal update. So as I reported on a couple months ago, the groundbreaking for the new terminal project at the Des Moines International Airport has passed, and now construction looks to be underway. 
And I was able to get a hold of someone that'd be willing to help out with providing some photos so I can have some coverage on this. So I want to give a huge thanks to aviation.dsm over on Instagram who shot me a message with a quick update on what's going on with the new terminal construction. So the two photos he provided me, from what I can tell, it looks to be like the parking garage is going up first, uh, the brand new one, which is right next to the existing facilities. Uh, looks like they got part of the first level poured, and they're working on the pillars for the second level. And it also looks like, if you look to the right of the image, uh, it's a little bit pixelated because the Instagram compression really does kick in. So I apologize for the low quality here, but that's all I got does look like, yeah, they did build like a new road or retaining bridge or something for the road that goes right by the new terminal facility and what will currently be the new parking garage as that's going up uh, over the next several months. So looking forward to covering the new terminal that will be going up at the Des Moines International Airport. And yes, you'll see the diorama change over time as I get word about which sides of the diorama are closed to make way for the new terminal. And then in the long term, once the new terminal does open up, I will have a brand new diorama created specifically for the Des Moines International Airport. So we'll say goodbye to this and we'll say hello to the new diorama in about a few years time, so long as I'm still doing these, which is my plan. I hope that I don't have to discontinue it because I get too busy with other stuff, but for right now, we'll not worry about that and we'll continue doing these airport updates as we can. And that'll do it. The last Des Moines Airport update for 2023 and the Sioux Falls update next week is going to be pretty loaded. Got a lot of cool stuff to talk about in there. And hopefully we'll get to uh, round out everything with a good recap on the year for my home airport. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.